Hi guys, Mr Little here and I have another story for you. Today our story is written by David Melling and it is called The Scallywags. Now a scallywag is someone who's a bit rough or gets into a bit of trouble or makes mischief and I think these wolves might be doing that. I think these wolves are the scallywags. But let's have a read and let's find out why. The Scallywags It was a full moon and the Scallywags were late. Again. The other animals had arrived early and were dressed in their best. But now the photographer was tapping his watch. We can wait no longer, he snipped. Or well, the beautiful silver light will be gone and the picture will be ruined. He peered into the lens one last time. Say cheese, everyone. Cheese! Crash! Bang! Wallop! The wolves bundled into the camera, the photographer and the other animals. You hairy nincompoops! Yelped the photographer. Ugh, typical wolves mumbled the others. The next morning, the animals gathered around to see the photograph. They were so cross that they decided not to ask the wolves to eat breakfast with them. They'll just spoil it for everyone, said the moose. I agree, said a bear. They always flick the food and nibble the napkins. I sat next to one of them at supper la time last week, said a pig. He was so smelly, I couldn't finish my pudding. Meanwhile, the wolves were loafing around at home. Jumble, the leader of the scallywags, gave his tummy a prod. I'm hungry, he said. What time is breakfast? Dunno, said Earwax. But I can smell it. The pack wagged their scratchy tails, pointed their twitchy noses and trotted after the delicious smells. But when they arrived, the other animals had already finished. <gasps> Everyone had enjoyed breakfast without the wolves so much they decided to stop asking them to meal times and play times and story times. Soon the scallywags were not invited out at all. At first they didn't mind and they carried on doing all the things that wolves like doing. But animal ladders wasn't the same without bare stairs. And how can you play Goose the Moose with no feathers? What we have to do is show everyone that we aren't so bad, said Jumble. Yeah, said Bruce. No one gets to see our soft and cuddly side. <coughs> Maybe if we had better manners, coughed Hairball. But we don't got no manners, said Scribble. Yo-Yo sniffed his armpit. Hmm, I suppose we could have a bath. And I could make some nice clothes, said Nitz. Jumble sat up. I know, let's go into town, follow the other animals around and copy what they do. Then they're bound to like us. So every day, the scallywags snooped and spied with their beady eyes. And every night, they practiced very hard. Before long, most of the wolves knew what to do with a handkerchief, a toothbrush, and a comb. And some of them could dress nicely and say please and thank you. 
And so came the day when the scallywags decided to visit the other animals and show them how much fun wolves could be. The animals were delighted to see 14 tidy visitors dressed in clothes that spangled. They didn't recognise the scallywags and asked them to stay for a bite to eat. But no sooner had the soup arrived than the trouble began. Scribble leaned across to one of the pigs and smiled sweetly. Excuse me, he said. Please don't slurp your soup. It gives me wind. Thank you so much. It didn't stop there. The wolves checked that all the animals had washed their paws, hands, trotters and claws. They told the geese not to honk with their beaks full and a family of bears were reminded not to leave the table until everyone had finished. The animals soon changed their minds about the fussy guests and began to realise how much they missed the scallywags. Of course, the wolves are noisy, they whispered, but at least they're funny and they can enjoy themselves without telling everybody else what to do. Above them, the moon came out. A full moon. The wolves became restless. They loosened their buttons. They started to itch and they started to scratch. Grub pressed his elbows into a sandwich. On purpose, Scribble giggled. Crumbs nipped Yo-Yo's toe. Earwax squashed a pea on Jumble's nose. Hairball's tail popped out and Nit bit it. He yelped. Bruce howled. They all howled. <gasps> the scallywags, gasped the animals. For a minute, nobody moved. Then Jumble coughed. <coughs> uh, would anyone like a sandwich? Yes, please, they said, and they all tucked in. The animals were so busy enjoying themselves that they forgot to be cross with the wolves. And the wolves forgot, well, everything. The photographer smiled and set up his camera. Ready, everyone? Cheese! The end. So they did get their picture in the end, so that's nice. But this was a story of the Scallywags. <laughs>